Okay, guys, I'm here today with Robson Moore, Robinho, huge honor for me. Guys, Robinho is a five times black belt world champion of IBJJF. He's also part of the Hall of Fame of IBJJF. He has his school in Tampa. He has a very big association, the Robson Moore Association. And uh, we're finally making an instructional video with, with him, so we're super excited about that. And guys, he pretty much won won world title in 2000 and then came back in 2007 and won again and he has a very efficient system that he used that i think it's going to be great for the small guys and uh, that, that he pretty much like he never lets someone hold his head and the uh, hobby can you explain a little, yeah. a little better first of all thank you man for inviting me to give me the opportunity to be here you know and uh, Appreciate it. and i'm like uh Ten years ago, I did a DVD set. It was really nice, and I really enjoy. And then I think like ten years later, I'm back here, you know, work with you and work with this PJ Fanatics. He's been doing an amazing job. I'm very excited to to you know share my knowledge and be able to help like you know all the Jiu Jitsu lovers like you know around the world like you know. And uh, that conceptual pick for that class was one thing I call escape, right? And the one thing I always say to my guys is, no matter how big or small you are one time you let someone cross face you like they you allow the arm go over the shoulder and they be pressed on your shoulder over here and you not be able to move your head then you're not gonna be able to move your body it's kind of a mechanic right it's connected so when the one thing i want to put in my mind like the arm cannot go over my shoulder i always count the arm right and they have a few ways you can count the arm to not make a mistake and put you in the worst situation and I always say like the three concepts, right? It's side control, half guard, and the total position. When you do allow the hand go over your shoulder, it's it's really hard to get out. Yeah, you know? Right. And then they be work on that the idea to not that let that happen. And uh, for many, many years in being work for me, I always use the quote, I say, look, you can be a white belt first day or you can be a black belt 40 years. If you do follow that idea, to make sure you be able to move your head, you always gonna have a, a chance to get out, to yeah, walk, to, yeah. to escape from that some some position. So let me show you, like you can kind of like see it. So think about like if I'm doing half guard, right? So what's your first goal? Your goal is get over here. Yeah. yeah. Now thinking about like you know your your big guy and I'm a little guy. So you put pressure over here. What is the chance for me to get off from here? It's very small, right? Yeah. So now what I do. When you go to cross face me, I friend. See, I friend over here. I don't grab the key because you can slide your arm in between my arm and then lose the position. Yeah. So I friend. So as I friend, I go for the X and make the X right here. So now when you put the press to go for cross face, I slide the arm oh, right incredible. there. That's incredible. And then cross face. Now, so it's no matter how much weight you're going to put on me, I'm free. I keep moving. Yeah. Right? So now one of my many positions I really enjoy from here. It's like that. I cup over here, control your body, make sure you don't pull this arm off, and you control the knee on the side. So now I get my butterfly, my butterfly hook. Yep. So now I get my butterfly hook, look, I'm elevating you. I can move Even you. Even though I'm way heavier than you, it seems easy for you to elevate Exactly, let me hang you over here, so then step the leg over. So now what I do, I extend it. When I extend it, your weight's not on me anymore, it's down there. It's easy for me to slap the back. And you're ready to hear leg choke. You ready to go for the real neck choke? I think I one more time, okay? So, Here, yeah. frame, go to the X, right? So now when he put the pressure, I kind of like push you that way and then open and the cross face, right? So let me control the gear that way. So now look, I can get my butterfly over here and ideally, when you elevate, you're kind of gonna force your head to go to the floor, yep. like that way. Yeah, and man, there's nothing I can do here because my arm is yeah. stuck, right? Yeah, and my right leg is posed on the floor. That's what elevate you on the high over here. So when I bring my leg over here, on the extend, look, now the weight's down there, it's very easy to just slide out, real neck choke, and you finish. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, for example, What's the mindset on side control and on turtle? So you, you, you showed this example on half mirror, but while you were showing, I was like, what does he do on side control and turtle regarding like the idea of not letting yeah. the person? The, the idea of the side control is the same idea. So you pass my guard, I lost the guard over here. Now the same idea, frame over here, X. All right, so now I'm gonna, gonna do like this position. 
So when you try to go back and like, man, that's crazy. Same thing. Oh, that's amazing. Right? So now you see, if you drop your hips to the floor like you did over here, I just gonna cross it. It's much easier for me to just put it over there. If I right? place my both knees on the ground. Yeah. yeah. When you get there, I frame, get my and knee in, open the space, butterfly, elevate. Oh. That is amazing. Swim to the back again. Yeah. Yeah. What about the turtle? So, turtle, same thing. I'm on the turtle. So, now it's the idea. See, talking about here, their hands cannot be here. So, I gotta count the arm. No matter okay. how, their hands cannot go over my shoulder. Once I allow the hand over here, I'm in trouble. Okay. So what I do when they come over here, I block and I go right there. So now look, I frame the hips on that side, step on the hips, open the elbow. Okay, the that's incredible. And elbow planner. Man, yeah, that's block. amazing. Oh, that's amazing. No, and I love it how simple it is. So basically, especially, especially if you're on a small person, right? If you're on board, you can never let your partner's arm go over your shoulder. Is that the key? That's the whole key. Is like I'll say, like it don't matter which position you wanna work on, Bernard. The principle is the is the not let the head go over my shoulder. That's the principle, right? Okay. So now if you slide all your weight on my belly, lay down me here, boom, right there. So if I'm able to do that, then me I have a chance to get out, right? Okay. So if I'm here, yeah. Now I'm gonna start smashing. Exactly, yeah. right. So when I'm getting on that position, right, I'm just like, ooh, you know, I can feel the lapel. Yeah, then you have so and many options. Yeah. Bravo. Ah, man, that's incredible. Then you start to like build oh, the whole amazing. sequence from there. But the main thing is like, frame. Got it. You know? Oh, have you, and how did you develop that? Was it because you were actually a small person and you probably trained so much with like big guys? Or how did you... <laughs> How, how did the idea came out? How did you, I, I never saw it like this. I have seen like people framing, yeah. but not like beating, building like a whole concept and the, and the sequence around that. So how did you develop this sequence kind of? Well, first of all, I think like was like, find a way to survive against the big guys, okay. right? Okay. That was, I think was, that was the main thing. And the second of all was like, I'm mean, very creative, you know? I, mean, I, I love to step on the mat and like expose myself to future things, right? And uh, today, like, if you ask me after like 34 years on the mat, I break jiu-jitsu down in three things. Patient, uncomfortable, and uncomfortable. So what that means, I, have, I don't care how many times I'm gonna be tap you, I care how I'm gonna make you tap. So right, that means right, I don't wanna right. expose myself too much and go to a fight. I wanna make that easy. If you train for like 30 minutes and I'll be able to catch you once without having to be fight with you back and forth, that's my idea, right? Okay. And then for me to move myself for the comfortable position, I have to go to uncomfortable. So, and the good thing on Jiu-Jitsu, like, you can learn so much from being on the uncomfortable. So, be on the half guard on the bar with someone half the I am, and you put a pressure, it's very uncomfortable for me, okay. right? So when I frame the arm and slide your arm to the side, and now I move to the uncomfortable to comfortable situation right. where I can lift you and start sliding in you and go right. from the back. So I think that's how I kind of like develop like that kind of like um, game. And the, the other thing I think about is like, it's, I, I like to teach variation. I, I like to teach like concept on the position, it's happening all the time. Right. So, okay, we're talking about, okay, lapel guard, 50-50, but that's like, it's not like on the foundation on the guy I got it. I got it. who start training now. So the guy who start training now, he's white, blue, you know, purple belt, who doesn't train that much, he trains very, you know, quite a few times a week, not be compared or whatever. He won't understand anymore how he's gonna survive yeah. before yeah. he came. No, I love anymore. this concept because, man, I'm a black belt, I do this for 22 years. And man, it was very interesting to me. But the guy who just started Jiu Jitsu today as well, he should learn that as one of the first things, especially if he's small. And he's gonna save his life. He's yeah, gonna save yeah. him. Like, it's, we, when we tell, I say that, like, when the guy from the school, you all say, like, hold the head, pin the head, pin the head. So now, what's about the other guy? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So don't let that happen. So you have to count, you have to block the, the, the head. Like I said, if you do be able to move your head, you always gonna have a chance to escape. No, oh, I love it. Yeah, so guys, Robin just showed an entire structure all about how to escape 
from from these situations for small guys and uh, as you guys can see like he built a system around that which is all based on not letting anybody going over your shoulder he's probably the best one at it five times world champion of hall of fame of ibjjf and uh, make sure to check it out his instructional video at, at bjj fanatics and uh, thanks so much Robin. thank you appreciate it thank you guys please help me out to grow my youtube channel just click subscribe and to watch more videos, just click under See More Videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.